To open SVG files, you need to at least have the Designer Edition of Silhouette. In the upper left-hand corner, it should tell you. Or if you click on Help About Silhouette Studio, you will see Designer Edition. It is really worth upgrading if you can afford it. And there's a link below. Locate your SVG files and make sure the files are not in a zip folder. If there's a zipper icon, the file needs to be unzipped. See links below to videos on how to unzip files. In most files from Simply Crafty SVGs, the SVG files are located in the SVG file folder. We also include a PDF file that shows the file contents so you know what is what when uploading. And it also contains written assembly instructions. And it also includes pictures to illustrate how to assemble the project. For Silhouette Studio, you can either open SVGs into a project without adding it to your library, or you can import SVGs to your library. It's really up to you. I prefer to drag and drop into just a, a new project. I drag the SVG files from the Windows Explorer one at a time into a project. And this works the same with the Mac and the Finder. And then I prefer to save to my hard drive. But um, that's because it's my default. I'll show you where to change that default. But I'm saving everything as one project, those three files I just pulled in. And then I can choose the location. Now, if you want to know how to change your default, if you prefer the library, you can do it here. Edit Preferences, and it says Default Save Location. And I have my set to Hard Drive. Some people want Library. And then just click OK. Now let's open another new project to try another import method. You may also import the SVGs into the library. You can import multiple files at once. Just highlight all the files, and then you'll left click and drag into a folder within your library. I'm using a folder called User Designs that I created. And then once you drag them in, you'll see the thumbnails of all those newly imported files. Very easy. To add the files to the project, right click on each file and select Merge File Name from the menu. After importing all files, you can save the project to the library. I would suggest that you arrange the files so they're not overlapping. Then after that, you can go ahead and select File, either Save or Save As in my case, and then Save to Library. You wouldn't have to do this if your default location was Library. And then you can name the file, and then it will save it in your library to sync up into the cloud and click OK. So after saving the project in the library, you really don't need the individual files, but you can keep them or delete them. In this case, I'm going to delete them. But it is a personal preference. So last week, we would arrange the files on the mat to cut. I usually like to uh, arrange them by color. So I usually move things off the mat. I don't know how everybody else does it, but I usually uh, arrange the cuts by color of paper and do my best to maximize the paper usage. And once I have them arranged the way I want them, then I will click on the send button in the upper right hand corner. And then you need to select all the files because they won't cut until you do this part. Select all the files and then on the right hand side under the action by section you want to click on cut. Do not select cut edge as no score lines would cut. Then uh, so make sure it's uncut and then adjust your blade settings accordingly. Then load your mat and then select the send button to cut. I don't have it connected else it'd show. Anyways that's the basics. I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.